Les from Thailand here and welcome to my keto diet video on fat to slim and this is the end of my week eight on my keto diet and I'm going to explain to you how I feel how I'm doing and have I lost any weight that's what everybody wants to know but I'll tell you how much weight I've lost in a little bit later on in the video now look at this picture here this is where I started off originally at 118 kilos but I started doing my videos at 106.6 and I lost the weight from 118 down to 106 on the keto diet before, but I didn't do any videos. So I've started my videos at 106.6. And for those people who are following my weight loss journey, this is the end of week eight. So for those people following my weight loss journey, they can see by week by week transformations and how much I've lost. I did stick a little bit at week six and I only lost 100 grams in that one week. Was I disappointed? No, I wasn't because I knew it was going to carry on losing weight week by week. So I want to show you the picture. This is the food that I've been eating. So I haven't really been eating diet food. It's the keto food and I've had plenty of meat and plenty of salads and a variety of, of meals. So there's thousands of meals on the internet where you can look and choose whatever meals you want to do. Basically, the only things you're missing are bread, pasta and rice. But everything else is virtually keto or you can make keto replacements of most things. Now, some people would call my diet boring, but I'm sticking to the food that I like. And all the food that I've eaten just here, it's sort of been the same food for the past eight weeks because I enjoy it. And I don't really feel the need to be able to cook many, many different things. If I enjoy the food that I'm eating, well, then I'll just eat that. And as you can see by the, the, the pictures here, we have a, a big variety of food. Now, the weight that I've lost, I'm into the end of week eight, and I've come down from, from this, 106.6, and I've come down to this, 96.9 kilo. So in the eight weeks, I have dropped a total of 9.7 kilo. So 9.7, I'm almost down to 10 kilos from my start weight at 106.6. So to give you some perspective of what this is, this is the bottles of water, each weighing 1.5 kilo, and then there's one bottle there, that's it, only one litre, so that weighs one kilo. So this is the total of 10 kilos that I've lost. Now just carry one of them bottles around and you'll, you'll feel the weight of how much 1.5 kilos weight. Some people think maybe I haven't lost a lot of weight at one and a half kilos or one kilo per week, but you just carry that around for an hour or two. Now look at this picture here. This picture here is me at 118 kilos. So to put it in some perspective, this plastic container of water here is 20 litres. Now 20 litres of water weighs 20 kilos. As you can see, I put it under the, the scale to 19.9, so almost 20 kilos. Now in total, from when I first started at 118 kilo, and now I'm down to 96.9, I've lost about 21 kilos. So here's me holding this 20 kilo bottle of water. So I was carrying this 20 kilo around 24 hours a day. So being 20 kilos less, I feel the benefit of it every single day because I'm not carrying this 20 kilo around my body 24 hours a day. So for those people who are thinking about quitting the diet or quitting any type of diet, just get some bottles of water here, one litre or one and a half litre, and that will give you the equivalent of how much the weight you have lost. If you feel disheartened, put that into a rucksack, carry a bag or whatever, and carry it around for an hour and then just put it down. Then you'll feel the immediate benefit of the weight that you've actually lost. So for me, this 20 kilo of water is a reminder to me how much extra weight I was carrying and I'm shocked. Carrying that 20 kilos of water from the car to our kitchen, every time we have to change it, that reminds me sure of 20 kilos weight that I've lost in the, in the time period that I've been doing the keto. But I'm wanting to share my work journey loss to those people who are slightly overweight. It can be done. The keto diet for me is one of the easiest diets I've ever been on. So yes, you can do it. The keto diet for me is number one. 
because the types of food that you can eat, it's so wide and vast range of food that you can eat. It's not a boring diet whatsoever. Yes, you have to do a bit of planning. The food that I eat every day, I do one meal a day and a dessert. So my desserts, I put a link up there as to what desserts I do. I do the cheesecake fluff and also the chocolate and rum ice cream. It takes five minutes to make and it's enough for four, maybe it's five days. So five minutes, it gives you four or five desserts to eat in the week. Doing the rosemary pork and salad, doing the chicken in black pepper, so easy to do. And also doing the meat barbecue that we do. We do that once a week. And that again, it, it's so filling and it's very, very tasty and it's a doddle to do. So being on the keto diet is number one for me. So for those people following my keto journey, I hope you get some value from this. Please subscribe down below. Leave your comments down below if you've got any. I've had plenty of emails and encouragement and support. And thank you very much for all those people that encourage me and give me support. I hope I also am an inspiration to those others who are deciding to lose some weight because losing some weight is a healthy option to do. So from Les on the Keto Diet, from fat to slim, until the next video, bye for now.